All right, we got the BMW 3 liter N55 engine. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do the oil pressure tests on this, a quick setup. This is the sensor right there. We're gonna be taking that out. So I got this on from uh, Amazon Prime. That's pretty cheap. It was uh, probably like what, 40 bucks or something like that. So it's not that bad first time using this. So I'm just gonna do a quick setup and then show you guys how to do it. All right, so make sure warm up the engine to the right temperature when we're doing this uh, pressure test. See what kind of pressure we get from the idle. So I cracked this uh, sensor open already and uh, the kit that I'm using is number seven. So I'm not sure what the measurement, the thread pitch on this, but uh, if you double check, put the threads together, they all go together. You can see right there. So this is the right one. Number seven, and there's a lot of uh, different connector here that you could put. Comes with an extra O-ring if you bugger up some of this O-ring. Pretty cool and quick connect right here. All right, so uh, let's uh, set this up. Let's screw it in here. All right, just a quick snug. I use a three-quarter wrench open end. Just gonna snug her up. So when you start this engine, the engine light's gonna come on because of the connector is not connected. It'll be nice to have like a T connector on here so we could connect the oil pressure sensor with the wire while we're doing the test. So we're just gonna tighten up it's like nice and snug just like that and then the quick connect will go in just like that okay and then the main pressure hose with the gauge will snap right in here pretty cool cool setup quick and easy so got some little bit of wiggle right there but it's fine when we start the engine just keep an eye on there put a rag underneath and then uh, we'll uh, check out the, the gauge here all right so when everything is all set up let's do a quick uh, Tests on this. Uh, let's start the engine. Make sure vent it out of your garage. Get that exhaust fume out. Let's uh, do a quick start here. All right, you can see it's about 85 or psi, going back and forth. So that would be like six bar. So that's not bad. You can see here is our uh, chart right here. Um, did the conversion, I don't know if that's right, but uh, control pressure with the engine. Operating tank temperature, we got a 58 to 87 PSI. And that's about right, right there. So this has been running already. This uh, engine has been running for about 10 minutes. It's a uh, temperature on this engine is normal. And I hook up my auto scan tool. You can tell 5000 HPA. Convert that to PSI is like what? 70 something PSI. There is a temperature or the coolant and engine oil temperature. So we're on the right spec there. There you go. It's nice and idle, steady. We're on 50 PSI. So we're about right. 50 so this is a good healthy engine oil pump is good we did uh, replace the intake camshaft on this so yeah not bad I go nice and smooth I went for a quick drive actually yesterday for this and it's not that bad pretty good it idles nice solid picks up really quick when you press the gas but uh, there's a little problem stay tuned on the next video I got the engine lights on this couple codes that came up regards about the intake pressure air pressure and uh, throttle body so stay tuned guys on that so make sure to subscribe thanks for watching see you guys again on the next one